Planet Channel 4 is a company that's been commercially funded mm -hmm. and it's not going to be able to be like manipulated by outside parties is meaning that it's going to and also the fact that it makes smaller films smaller size films anyway some more independent mm -hmm. styles it means it's kind of a chance for those smaller industries to get out there and make their films and to be recognised um, so they've made some big films recently mm -hmm. You can mention one of them was um it's a film what's shit Brian. Oh X Machina. X Machina. X Machina. They helped make that. Yeah, so the fact that it's a, it's a smaller company in comparison to say Warner Brothers and Disney, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's still making successful films like X Machina. Mm -hmm. So that for us would be a great chance to kind of look at that company specifically to kind of yep. maybe even do more research into to look at how they attract their customers and also what target audiences they go for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> um, well, for Warner Bros, uh, I got here, which I think is quite a nice thing. Uh, so, Warner Bros Entertainment is a fully integrated, broad based entertainment company and a global leader in, cre in the creation, uh, production, and distribution side of uh, movies and all films like that. Yeah. I think that's really strong because obviously it, so straight away in that, in that, first bit of sentence it tells you about how popular they are and um, yeah. how cultured they are and how well known all over the world that they are and yeah. that they obviously because um, are very well known for handling with uh, big productions so like Harry Potter you've got your, Mar your DC universe even mm -hmm. so all of their films yeah. such large blockbuster films yeah so I think that helps get it across as well um, another thing was that uh, the company's vast library uh, is one of the most prestigious and valuable in the world. And obviously, uh, once again, that's a really big, really big impact on anyone who's so, even if for some reason you've never heard of Warner Bros, there's always going to be one person in the room <coughs> who will know. that can back it up and can just say how reliable and yeah. the amount of quality and hard work that gets put into their productions, I think is really key. Yeah. Uh, but, but with them, it seems they've almost, it's not a niche audience, but yeah. their films are film more sp specific as well. The way they target their audience, especially, so they're looking at, so with, as I said, with the DC films and Harry Potter, I thought like that's a certain audience. You wouldn't have the whole world just watching yeah. DC. I think that's more like a comic based film, which. Mm -hmm. So they've been able to get these, what might <coughs> be, when they first started, small mm -hmm. style films and made them such. Success, such successful stories. Yeah, yeah, good. As, as well as Harry Potter, where it's kind of got such a large like fan base, it's just coming from this company and how they marketed these films. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, well, another one is Disney, and that's yep. again another massive company. It's one of the big six, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Disney, they own a lot of the media, so they own companies like Marvel. And again, Marvel is a big, yeah. big company in itself. In its, in its own own right. Right. Well, Pixar as well, as well, where it's just kind of these sm s not still not small companies, but these companies underneath. Yeah, but sort of yeah. all coming together yeah. to create yeah. something. So yeah, even with their, you can even see with their computer games where they've kind of some Marvel got computer games, and now even Pixar kind of linked into that as well. Just stuff like that. Yeah, and they've and. Um, their big introduction was Mickey Mouse, mm -hmm. and it's defined as a quality piece of work mm -hmm. throughout the character's trust work um, within the speak of the speak of the writers. So, yeah. and I think what's really key about that is the fact that how crazy is that one tiny little drawing mm -hmm. um, yes. that was actually done on uh, Walt Disney's train journey to, uh, to a meeting. Yeah. Uh, has turned into such a big sort of movement such a big thing. and it's more inspirational than just a bit of fun yeah, yeah. and uh, again along with uh, Warner Bros but I feel that Disney does it best of bringing in family all together because it's so and just that's, yeah and that's their real ethos is just to have like good family entertainment yeah and just to keep everyone together and, and they go be recognised as a family kind and of yeah and they go through all age gaps as well, so they go from having PG to all the way up to like 18 and 15 films. Especially now, especially with yeah. that, I think that links into more and Marvel, because with, Marvel, with their like, Deadpool, yeah. it's a Disney mm. film, but 
obviously it's only a bunch of marble, mm. so it's not. Yeah, so it's kind of more of a. Mm. And another thing with um, Disney's like logo, the fact that it's quite swirly writing and almost like handwriting, it links yeah. in with ev every every part of the film goes in with the writers. Yeah. Yeah.